What's up YouTube? Here's our second video on the series on parents and I'm going to expand a little bit on our point made on part one. So this video is for you to know exactly what the words your parents say what they actually mean because they don't because it doesn't always mean what the words themselves mean so without further ado these are a few uh, the things that parents say and what they actually mean you never do anything right I judge you only by your mistakes all the things you do right I ignore them you never think of anyone except yourself you did not consider the others in this particular occasion and you must remember that when you do think of others are things you get right and I therefore ignore put yourself together or you'll be punished it doesn't matter how well you put yourself together I will punish you anyway you only care about the things that matter to you I see you have hobbies enjoy them while you can sooner or later I'll find an excuse to punish you your grandparents were very severe too. Your grandparents destroyed my teenage years, so I have the right to destroy yours as well. Also, I was never taught to respect my subordinates. That's not how you move the water hose. You move it like this. I'm aware that you're moving the water hose exactly as I told you, but it always feels good humiliating you just because I feel like it. The floor is still dirty. Sweep it again. I'm absolutely aware that it's as clean as it can be, I've already forced you to sweep the floor five times, but since it's a humiliation task, I'll make you sweep it again. Uh, I was given this report at school. Give it to me. Uh, the teacher left out that. Silence. You have no voice or vote. I don't care that your teachers are sanctioning you for acting in self-defense. You are guilty until proven otherwise, and you have no proof that you're innocent, and if you had them, you have no right to present them. So, could you help me with my homework? How come your classmates understand and you don't? If you fail, great! An excuse to punish you! Hey, I got 87 in maths! Yeah, but Brenda got 92. You need to study more. I will compare you to Brenda to humiliate you. You passed, great for you, but remember anything you do correctly will not count for me. Why did you get 65 in science? But Brenda got 51. Are we talking about Brenda? No, we're talking about you. Comparisons only work when you are worse than others. Don't try to defend yourself. You can't. I have the authority. Don't you dare try to be smart with me. It hurts my ego when you outsmart me. I never accept I'm wrong. And if you prove me wrong, I won't apologize. I'll just punish you. Do not contradict me, you disrespectful little bastard. Go to your room, you're grounded. You have successfully proven I'm wrong. However, I never lose an argument. When I run out of reasons and logic says I'm wrong, I'd rather be killed than accept him I'm mistaken. My position of authority allows me to respond with insults, threats and violence. Explain to me why you did this. Everything you say will be used against you. Enough, you're grounded. Even if it's a very small thing, insignificant thing, it is the excuse I was looking for to punish you. Why? Because I can and because I feel like it. So as to correct yourself, the punishment will last three months. Do you think I give a fuck about your mental health? You will get used to being grounded and all that's going to cause is psychological damage. I will be watching you. I desperately need an excuse to punish you. Since you cannot correct yourself, you will now be grounded permanently. I love seeing you suffer when you're grounded. In fact, I love it so much, I want to have it forever. Is it too obvious that I don't care about your mental health? Why exactly am I always grounded? Because it is the law. Because I have an insatiable appetite of proving my superiority because I can and because your mental health and psychological integrity are things I don't give a fuck about. All this punishment is for your own good. You're my son and I love you. It hurts me more than it hurts you. After punishing you with no mercy and without any remorse, I feel some hypocrisy wouldn't be too bad. 
You've been permanently grounded for some time now. I free you from punishment, you've gotten better. I have noticed during this past year and a half that the punishment has lasted, you've attempted suicide twice. If you try again and succeed, I'll probably find myself in severe trouble with the law. My psychologist says I've got pretty severe damage from the permanent punishment all those years ago. Well, if you only had disciplined yourself, do you seriously expect me to apologize? I never did anything wrong by ruining your life, and if I did, I don't care. So, this was the video, I hope you have enjoyed it and you have learned a little bit on how to manage your parents' words and any parents or soon-to-be parents watching this video may want to make sure you don't do any of the mistakes described in this video. So, um, I'll hope to see you next time in part 3 where I discuss the other parts of being a teenager, bullying. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!